Hi everyone, and welcome to Real Science Challenge. I'm Kent Louis, science teacher and talking head, talking best practice in science education and broadcasting from beautiful Vancouver, Canada. Now, are you looking for an easy and engaging activity to introduce CER or claim evidence reasoning next year? Now, here's one you can try. And to add a bit of fun, You'll be working with a colleague and collecting some summer vacation artifacts over your summer break to use as part of a show and tell for this summer activity. Sorry, for this CER summer activity. And don't worry, it won't take up too much of your time. No different than keeping a small summer memory box. But before I continue, Handouts for this episode are available at realsciencechallenge.com slash EP60, that's 60, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, I teach CER, or again, Claim Evidence Reasoning, to my students as a framework to help them write an argument. And writing an argument is a skill that is taught in our curriculum. You know, it's found under communicating in the BC science curriculum, and argument writing is one of the science and engineering practices in the NGSS. The argument is what we engage in when we perform experiments and present our results. Now traditionally, in the conclusion of our experiments, we tend to have a claim. C, this is what I claim or conclude from my results. Then we have E, evidence, this is what I observed during the lab to support my claim, followed by R, reasoning. These are the reasons why I know these observations support my claim. So for a CER intro activity, let's have our students engage in argument, but let's make it easy for them to come up with an argument. So for this CER intro activity, get a colleague to collect six to eight unique artifacts of what they did during their summer break. You know, this could be a ticket stub to a movie or a seashell from the beach or a sweater that they had knit. You know, you get the idea. And you should do the same during your vacation. Collect six to eight unique artifacts over your summer. Then what you do for your intro class to CER is that you lay out all the artifacts that you and your colleague had collected and tell students where the artifacts are from. Then tell your students to use CER to structure their argument to this question. Which teacher, teacher A or teacher B, had the better summer vacation? For example, let's say my fictional colleague, Mr. Smith, collected this rock he got from the beach, this tub of protein powder, which he finished during the summer, and this bottle of sunscreen. And I, well, I collected this empty bag of coffee from a coffee shop I visited, and I collected this empty bag of coffee from another coffee shop I visited, and, yep, another empty bag of coffee from, yes, another coffee shop I visited. Yes, I do like coffee. For my students' arguments, students could say, claim, Mr. Smith had the better summer vacation. Evidence, Mr. Smith spent time outdoors at the beach and getting in shape. And reasoning, after being sedentary and lazy and stuck indoors at school for the past 10 months, getting in shape and spending time outdoors is the best way to spend summer vacation. And Mr. Smith got to do that this summer. Students could also argue this. Claim, Mr. Louis had the better summer. E, evidence, Mr. Louis went to several coffee shops and got samples of different types of coffee. Our reasoning. After being consumed with lesson planning, marking, 
and kids for the past 10 months, being able to spend time focused on a hobby is the best way to spend summer vacation. And Mr. Louis got to do that this summer. Now this is an intro activity, so don't expect students to understand the differences between C, E, and R at the end, or write perfect arguments after this activity. No, more practice will be needed, but this activity is a fun start with a low barrier to entry because everyone can form an opinion or argument over who had a better summer. That's it for this episode. Please smash the like or subscribe button or leave a comment below. And handouts, once again, are at realsciencechallenge.com, EP60. That's 60. Thanks for watching. And let's talk science education again soon.